I'm going to show you how to use the Flux Networks mod. Very simple mod, but very, very useful. So, it adds a few items. The main one is the Flux Plug and the Flux Point. So, each one does a different thing. The Flux Point provides energy. So, if you're looking to power something, you use a Flux Plug. Imagine plugging in your hairdryer at home. Whereas the Flux Plug is the one that is going to receive energy adding to your network so this is the generator that is generating energy or the plug that connects into the generator i should say we then have a flux controller which is basically just for wireless networks when i say wireless i do mean charging um wirelessly on your person so the stuff in your inventory and then we've got some storage blocks that i'll show you later and a configurator for configurating the networks on the move they're all made of pretty simple ingredients, a flux block here, which is going to need some flux dust and flux cores. Flux cores are made from flux dust, ionders, and obsidian. The only actual material you need to make in this mod is flux dust. You basically get some redstone, and you kind of do a stack at a time, and you put it between obsidian and bedrock, and you get flux dust. So I am on super flat, so very easy for me to get down to bedrock here. So what you literally do is put the obsidian like that, and I'm going to get a stack of redstone, and I'm just going to drop it all under the obsidian like that, and then left-click the obsidian, and it will smash it, basically, into the bedrock, and you get all of your flux dust, and that is as simple as that. So now let's have a look at them. So I'm using a flux plug here, and you can see it's grey. So this is a mechanism infinite energy cube, and over here I'm going to be transferring energy to this energy cube. So I'm going to go into the flux plug by right-clicking it, and we can see there's a lot going on here, a lot of tabs, etc. The home tab. We can see the name of the flux plug, so you can call it energy in. You could set this up for different areas in your base, etc. The transfer limit. So um, it could be a thousand. Um, this is the transfer limit that you're going to allow in to this flux plug. And obviously it can take priorities because maybe you have a certain plug or point on your network that is a really high priority in the network, but others a lower priority. So if you've only got so much energy to go around, maybe you want to prioritize. We then have power surge. This will basically bypass the priority. Bypass limit will bypass the transfer limit. So it may be a point where you think, oh no, this machine needs loads of energy, um, but it's a lower priority. Oh, I'm just going to bypass, I'm going to power surge it and bypass the priority limit for now. Or maybe you're saying, oh, this for, for the moment, this one needs more than this normal limit I'm giving it just for the moment. I'm just going to bypass that limit quickly, or maybe forever, and it'll just do unlimited. You can also do chunk loading. If you're playing on a server, your server admin may have disabled this in the config. It will only chunk load the chunk that the flux point or plug is in. So, network selection. It will require to be on a network, like your Wi-Fi network at home. Create new network. You can press this plus button up here, create new network. I'm going to call it Havi's network. You can click this private bit here to make it public, encrypted, or private. Private means only you can use it. Public is anyone can actually put their plugs onto this network. And encrypted means it needs a password. And you can also give it a color. So let's make it orange. And I press, um, oh, no, I don't want it. I want it private. Press create. And now you can see um, the flux plug is gray. And I go to network selection. I click Havi's network. And now it is on this network. And you can see it's now an orange plug because it is on my orange network which is Havi's network. I can also click this button here, this little door icon, to disconnect from the network, and it goes back to grey. And obviously you could have a list of networks, public, um, private, depending on if other people are on the server, you know, they, their public ones will be listed here. Um, so I'm going to call it Havi's network. What I'm then going to do is go over to my flux point, which is where we're receiving energy, and I'm going to say to this one, Havi's network. And the transfer limit on this one is going to be 1,000. So you can see it's outputting now 1,000 a tick into the energy cube. Because remember, the plug is where you're accepting energy from, and the point is where you're putting energy to. And you can see that it's outputting energy into the advanced energy cube. If I disconnect it from that network, then it obviously stops inputting energy, because it's not on that network anymore. The next tab is wireless charging. 
The main inventory is disabled by the mod, um, but you can toggle curios, armor slots, offhand, main hand, etc. Um, and then you can enable wireless or disable wireless. So you can see here wireless charging is ineffective on that network, or I could say enable wireless on that network and uh, say offhand, main hand, apply. And then what I do is I get my free runners, put them in, say, hang on, my offhand, and hmm, it's not charging them. For wireless charging, you do need a flux controller. Imagine it as like a Wi-Fi hub in your home. So go into the flux controller, network selection, tick it, and now I put it into my offhand, and it's charging it in my offhand from the wireless flux controller. The next tab is network connections. So on the network that you're on, you can see all of the different connections and you can see how much energy they're inputting and outputting. So you can basically get a, a, a good view here of your overall energy usage. And what you can actually do is click on one of the plugs. You can press select items. I can click uh, flux point and I can edit or disconnect it. So I can, if I'm a, somewhere miles away and I'm like, oh God, this one that's miles away from me, is taking too much energy. I can disconnect it from the network in this screen, um, in the network connections, but obviously now it's gone. So you can edit them at other points in the network. Network statistics, this shows you how much energy is going in and out of the network that you're on. Um, oh, do you know what? One thing I haven't mentioned here is the buffer. Um, obviously you've got the input and output, but the buffer, it can hold up to one tick of energy. So it just makes it a bit more server friendly. But usually, it will be sending and receiving energy in the same tick, and the buffer will be zero. Hopefully, that makes sense. Uh, basically, you don't really need to worry about the buffer. It's, it's more just like a server-friendly thing, in my opinion. On the network statistics, you can see how many plugs, points, the overall input and output, storages and controllers you've got on here. Um, network members, you can see, you know, I'm, I'm on single player right now. You can see I'm the owner. Um, you can see my UUID, which is my Minecraft sort of username thing um, and then network settings you can change the color etc as i've shown you before and to delete the network you hover over delete shift and shift again and then you can click it so it's basically a sale a fail safe there then we have the basic um flux storage again you can put these onto networks and it will automatically start taking in energy from that network you won't actually have to put a point onto it the Heruculean one um, again i'm going to put it onto this network and it will have the same color of the energy inside based on the network you're choosing um so Habby's network for example and i'm just going to show you if i added a new network you can see this blue one here i change it to blue but nothing's going in because there's no power on this network whereas if i change it over to Habby's network it does making these ones uh pretty simple it's six flux blocks and some glass to make the next one up which goes from 2 million to 16 million just needs six basic ones and then the gargantuan one needs six of the prior one as well to make 128 million storage the last thing is the admin and the flux configurator quite simply this is wireless in the point of not wireless is in the flux controller does wireless charging but wireless is in i can right click with it and i can look at my networks when i'm on the move when i'm not near any plugs etc you can also copy settings. So if I wanted to copy the settings from this one to that one, I shift right click that. And as you can see on the screen, it says copied configuration. And then I right click onto this machine and it pastes the configuration. So you can use it to do that. And you can see it's changed color because it's using the network name Havi's network at the moment. Now, obviously your networks can be private. There's a creative only item called admin configurator. And this one can actually override that, and it's for your server admins. And that's it. That is how you use the Flux Networks mod.